I decided to do a bit of Slayer, but in the effort of making my inventory a little bit tidier, I'm going to trade the Cheeks NPC for the Collector Talisman. Equip that as well and make sure this is operated to go into the bank. And that's just going to save us a lot of hassle with drops going on the floor and filling up our inventory. Anytime we're actually looking for good drops, I, I like to keep it on so we actually see it in the inventory rather than just the chat box. But for stuff like this, doing Slayer and, and arbitrary things that don't really matter, we'll keep the collector tally on so it goes straight to our bank. Okay, now we have that unlocked. We also got enough pieces for a full Slayer helmet so we can do quite a few upgrades here. I think we're probably going to go all the way or pretty much all the way. So we've got the assembled Slayer helm, which then becomes a beginner Slayer helm, which then is going to become the tier 5 Supreme Slayer helmet from these elixirs that we got already. Then going to turn that into the supreme totem then upgrade to the azurite totem oh no sorry godly first right there and then into the azurite right there and we now have is it 25 percent it's something like that it's a really nice percentage increase on dps we then have the op slayer totem but we do need to get the op elixir for it and then at the moment that's the strongest so yeah we are grinding for the op elixir to upgrade our arcane and for that we need to buy it in the shop and it is 185k there is also in the unreal but i don't think these are obtainable just yet it's tier 10 so we're op on 185k first stop is the slayer talisman then probably the op elixir well boys here we are with the very last cage raid we will ever have to do on this account because with 205 keys which we're just about to get that will take us up to exactly the dry counter requirement, the guarantee that we get an Oath Keeper. Here we go. Last time, what are we going to have killed? I think 449 should be right. There you go. 449 actual raids it took us to get enough keys to guarantee the Oath Keeper. Let's clear our inventory and uh, open these bad boys up. So here we are on the dry counter. And as you can see, 2245 out of 2450, meaning we are 205 keys away. I'm going to open 204. Just in case we can we can see if we actually get it by by luck. Let's have these opened. We do not, which should mean thanks for Oathkeeper. Now let's grab our last key. I realized I had an extra 16 keys. We're gonna ignore that fact. But I did a few more raids I needed to do. There we go. Thanks for Oathkeeper. Let's have a look at this. Could be one away. We are one away. Here we go. So this key guarantees the Oathkeeper. Here we go. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> I always forget that the dry counter works on the one drop after. Here we go. It's, it's next roll. <laughs> Thank God I had some extra keys. Here we go. This is the one. This is the key. There we go. That is the Oathkeeper Keyblade. That is the log completed. We never have to go back to KH1. That is our first raid fully completed on the collection log account and also a great upgrade for our aoe here okay we voted again so we are going to grab our daily reward which is a 50 dollar scroll which is great um i think i'll i'll claim that i'll claim it straight away that brings us up to 800 dollars we're only 190 dollars away from the next rank which is eternal we have 64 memory tickets. I'm going to rip all of these in a second for a bit of a celebration of us getting the Oath Keeper. We are then going to open everything else here. So we don't get any extra votes, but from our chest of greatness, we get keys, which we love, keys, which we love, and some instance tokens. I'll take those all day. Hopefully soon we'll be able to complete the extreme key log with the amount we get from these chests. Okay, so we hopped over and did some AOT raids, as you can see in the background with these clips playing. Now with AOT, I was running them with a, another player who is quite a bit stronger than me um, and it did pose the kind of moral question of is this like leeching or, or like effectively boosting the account. Um, a, my damage isn't like crazy crazy low uh, at this point in time so I didn't actually feel as I was doing completely nothing. I was doing you know like 1 to 2 build damage per raid which is like you know 10 20 30 percent of the damage sometimes on on some of these raids so i wasn't too upset um but also i we realized that even if i get spooned like a crazy lucky drop like let's say one kc we got like an attack pet although that would be really strong and really good for the account at some point we're gonna have to come back to aot to completely finish the log 
so it doesn't really matter if that makes sense because odds are with the amount of aot raids we're gonna have to run to get every single drop from the raid we're probably gonna get dupes of i mean everything other than one thing right essentially we will always get dupes of items other than when we get the last item for the log so i kind of decided that this is fine uh, as long as i'm not like unbelievably weak that i could never take this content on myself then i think it's kind of fair to do so with that enjoy the time lapse of some aot and we'll go to show in some loots if any uh, although aot with it's, it's damage based so even though i'm saying all this if you do low damage in aot raids you only get low loots so we are getting the correct loot for our account regardless of how strong our teammates are it just means center soul is going to be getting all the good loots here uh, and i'll be getting some some random random weak drops well our lovely friend center soul took us on what did we get 13 aot runs we didn't get anything announced we did get two owners attachments so that's not so bad we're going to be at aot for a long long time in the future but nice to get a few kc done no big collection logs achieved that is another collection log over at KH2. We have taken a little break with Senna again to do some KH2. Uh, we're kind of just trying to chip away at the dry counter here to end up getting the Oblivion Blade. We are, what was that, about a fifth of the way through, is that right? We just died, it's annoying, but yeah. We're at 240 out of 1,200 and... 25, there you go, so yeah. Just over a fifth of the way there. Which is not bad so hopefully it won't take us too many hours to guaranteed get the oblivion blade we might get it spooned beforehand and obviously we need the full log anyway so it doesn't really matter when we get the oblivion blade we're going to be doing cage 2 for quite some time i think i'll just kind of do an hour uh, every now and again and hope we get some nice drops Ooh! wow that is a rare roll we get a devil's bow that, I mean, that's great. If we get the Devil Wings, that, that's two of the rarest items on the whole log, I think. Cage 2. In fact, I think it might be one of. Okay, I'm going to die here. We're going we're gonna to check in the next room here. So, collection log. We'll be ready for this. Okay, collection log. Raids. Kingdom Hearts 2. All the way at the bottom. Yeah, the wings are like as rare as the bow, but that's rarer than pretty much everything that we want here. It's rarer than the blade, rarer than the pets. That is uh, actually a really good one to get. Really good one to get. Oh, <gasps> no fucking way. No fucking way. That is so quick. What? Oh my God. It was like three raids ago that we got the devil bow. And then we got the battle mage boots. Then nothing. And then an oblivion blade. Wow. Wow, that is going to be a very, very quick arcane star for this account. I just can't believe that. <laughs> There's no way. All right, sick. Well, <laughs> the dry counter would have reset. That is that is a very good sight. That is a very, very good sight. We love that. Oblivion Blade is completed already. I'm I'm in shock. But there's no fucking way. I I just got the blade last. That I just got back to back. This is the next best piece I wanted. The battle mage staff upgrades into the Azerite glaive. I've just got the tier eight staff and the tier. Is it seven? I think the Azzy glaive. Yeah. I just got the arcane staff effectively and the Azerite glaive effectively back to back, and then two raids before got the devil bow. It, this is crazy luck that that rng is insane we're we're, we're fucking stacked out <laughs> as all centers after he's just running right until he gets screwdriver for pests oh man <laughs> uh, i mean that's a great pet it's an absolute great pet <laughs> it's super strong it just heals you just always um and when you cook when you get four of these and you compare it with a when you get four of these and you combine it with a pet talisman on on a mini me when we eventually get that we can just have a super strong mini me that can heal me but this is really good actually at some at some certain bosses so uh, yeah i'm happy about that i'm very very happy about that
Wow, I do just feel bad because Senna, who's been helping me out a long time here, he's only after two more, two more pets. And then he's finished with KH2 forever and we just stole one from him. So, oops, my bad. So from those raids, the AOT raids, we got two owner's attachments. Nothing crazy, but they are good for upgrades and we did need them. So one of them I'm going to use for the cape. Um, and then one of them I'm going to use for the Azerite Glaive. Because we also got the Battle Mage Staff. We also got the Devil Bow, which is going to be super useful for the future. And is a hard collection log to get. We got a pet screwdriver, which is so sick as well. I love the pet. The healing's really good. And we, of course, got the Oblivion Blade. I have everything in my inventory, I believe, already to go straight for the Oblivion main hand. And then also straight into the Arcane Staff. And I think I've got everything I need here for the Azerite Glaive as well. So two really key upgrades coming in. Massive for the account progress. It means our melee's a lot stronger. It means our mage will be a lot stronger. And our AoE is going to be crazy. So let's start with getting the main hand. There we go. Let's stay on tier 7 here and grab the Azerite Glaive. There's that bad boy. And finally, the moment we've been waiting for for a long time here, our Arcane Staff. Legendary Gem, Bowser Egg, Tommy Gun, Main Hand. Ah, that is a gorgeous set of upgrades we have here. Tier 7, Melee, Tier 8, AoE, Mage. Which, with our Tier 9 <laughs> Mage gear, as well as our Aftershock 3 Talisman, our AoE is about to go crazy hard. That's amazing. <laughs> Insane upgrades. Our account still feels so early. There's so much I need to do. There's so much I want to do. Stay tuned because this shit's about to go crazy. From our Tier 2 Collector, we're going to go all the way to a Tier 7. We start by getting the tier 3 collector. It then goes to the tier 5 collector, which is the extreme. Then we hop to number 6, ultimate collector. And then we can go straight into the nice and juicy Azurite collector. Quite expensive, but we're going to need quite a few of these. Um, in fact, do I even go and upgrade this to like the DPS? Hmm, I mean, this is tribrid and it's 20% drop rate. Maybe we just stick with this one for now. Um, and then at some point we'll upgrade this to up our DPS even further. But this puts us at a pretty good DPS right now. We're at level 159 and we're at 25 mil DPS. We, we don't need our cosmetic overrides on. Oh, for some reason we're, <laughs> we're not displaying quite right, but oh well. Uh, yeah, 25 mil DPS, which is pretty decent. I think my main is only at like 40 mil, um, if that, and that's on like big buffs. So I think this DPS right now for how early we are in the account is really strong. So we love that. Unlocks a lot more late game content. Maybe we even go to Golden Freezer soon. Hmm, that'd be nice. Right, and that is the Leela collection log completed. Uh, we're now fully up to date with all the zones we've so far done. We are now green locked, but we're only up to Rengar. So we're going to carry on with Neo and Mandalorian uh, and work our way up and see how long we can go for before we get bored. And we're going to stay there until we complete the logs. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, that is Neo Cortex completed. Oh, nice. That is Mandalorian log done as well. Nice, there we go. That is Captain Quark. Completed. Ooh, oh, there we go. Complete the collection log. Nice. That is bouncer completed. Oh, nice. Literally ending that instance. We just finished our battle pass. That's quite nice. Let's uh, load it up um, and claim everything. Um, I'll, I'll be back once I've claimed everything. I'll get rid of all the random stuff and just show you the good loots. But we do have the golden because we got it from the login reward or vote reward, whichever one it was. So, yeah, we'll compile it all down, get all the useful stuff and show it off. Okay then, sorry if you can hear the work going on outside, there is some gardeners working. Um, this is the good loot that we got. So we've got some keys to open, some chests to open, should probably put them in order. There's more, two, one, two, three. Um, we got a scroll, owner's attachment, a couple of boxes, and wow, well, we didn't get any bills from that. Lamp of Splats are really important for late game. The Azerite box is huge. That's going to come in really clutch. Uh, you can't get the, no, you can't get cape, but... One of these pieces would be quite nice. 
and otherwise yeah some openables some good loots like a uh, bowser egg is a useful amulet mold means we can actually go all the way to tier eight now which is quite good and some other good items but we'll pop these chests and keys in our inventory and open them and then we'll take it from there okay then for the tmnt keys we may as well open these there's a chance we get super spooned and lucky here but probably not and it is probably not is the right answer but another 300 raid tokens that's useful actually we could actually use them for when we upgrade our shield and for these boxes the best thing from tier ones is for me i guess bowser box would be quite nice save me having to do smash raids uh, for the tier twos it would be the azurite owner cape would be by far the best thing for us to get and then for the tier three of course it would be the mini me pet i'll take a bfg why not i need a few anyway and bowser boxes look really common so that we might get lucky with those let's open these up and see what we get okay so here's the total loot from the tier ones nothing great a couple of keys to be useful that's pretty much it tier two is pretty much the same kind of loot we got no new items there so just more keys a couple of shards that was it now the tier threes i'll actually show you each one of these chests getting opened now some of these could be some really good loot uh man ray tickets not that useful i kind of want like bowser boxes and i obviously want the mini me but it's just so incredibly rare Probably not going to see one, but there's always a chance. Awesome. Are they better keys? Yeah, tier 6 keys. Nice. That's good. <clears throat> Nothing. And last one. Is this lucky? No, no. And oh, unfortunately not. No Bowser boxes. No mini me's. No good loots from any of these. So a little bit of shame. Bit of a rip. But there were three boxes, so I can't complain. My progression managers. This is all the loots we've got. I must have hit a vote in one as well. But from the completing all the zones i've got five owns attachments is crazy ah oh, extreme collected i didn't have to waste loads of stuff to upgrade ah oh, okay oh well and then lamp of splats is always useful 30 aggression potions will help and golden chest we could get more bowser boxes which we do need so yeah let's go open this loot next well, in terms of open balls it's pretty much just this so we'll get these chests out of the way because they're normally yet pretty dog there's a chance we get something half decent from these vote boxes and we do not but the golden chests I'm considering when we unlock Golden Freezer, we can use that to get a double drop so I could use all of my donation points on Golden Chests. Try and get Bowser Boxes. I think that might be a strap, but I'm not really sure. Okay, well, we've got some stuff there and from resource car kits we got. Nothing of much importance, but again, more openable stuff, more aggression potions will come in useful for instances. And it means we've just done a few more zones, so we're still happy okay just checking in here we've been doing some slayer and we've just hit over 200k tokens which means we're going to go ahead and buy the slayer talisman this is very useful in giving a 35 percent chance of double kills and hopefully at some point soon we'll get the freezer pet we're just kind of afk doing some tasks um while we grind up to golden freezer and we're about two tasks away 198k slayer points you need 220 to unlock golden freezer so yeah two two tasks on the dot and we'll get there okay then with that last task we have now got enough points to unlock golden freezer so we're going to unlock this yes we are sure and now i'm i'm thinking that this should be a pretty strong setup so i'm going to farm boss slayer with big crab and kill that until i get a golden freezer task and then go kill golden freezer on task um i might consider doing slayer now until i get another yeah well i'm hoping for the freezer pet which i never got but i also want to buy the op elixir for 185k uh which will then just increase my damage even more i think it this goes from like 25 percent to 33 percent or something like that I, I don't actually know exactly um but there's a tool tip on the op one i'm pretty sure this is 33 percent so being on task i'll get extra damage and that'll make my kills even quicker so could end up being worth it in the long run here 